Operation Green Sweep. That's cannabis right there. Card number 34. Marijuana Wars. Operation Green Sweep. Marijuana Wars. The U.S. is the is the second largest producer of marijuana in the world after Mexico, growing 10 million pounds a year worth four billion dollars. Enough to supply 35 percent of the consumption of America's 10 to 20 million uh, marijuana users. Some of the highest quality marijuana is grown in the so-called Emerald Triangle. Humboldt, Men, Men, Mendocino, and Trinity counties in Northern California. Since 1983, the state's campaign against marijuana production, CAMP, has conducted military style sweeps of the area, seizing more than $2 billion worth of plants in seven years. The result of CAMP eight raids have been a tr uh, tripling of the price of California homegrown finding it possible to make the same profit growing much less California's pot farmers have moved their operations indoors the state's marijuana industry has thus become decentralized and almost impossible to detect in the summer of 1990 for the first time ever, federal troops, 200 National Guardsmen, and Bureau of Land Management Rangers conducted the marijuana raid, dubbed Operation Green Sweep, in a federal cons conservation area called King Range. The troops confiscated 1,408 miniature plants wor worth no more than $2 million. 17-year-old Blossom Edwards encounter, encountered silent camouflage troops on a hiking trail near her home. Quote, all their automatic weapons were pointing at me. I yelled. I tried to get them to talk. They wouldn't lower their guns. End quote. On August 9, 1990, local residents filed a $100 million lawsuit claiming that federal agents illegally invaded their property wrongfully arresting them and harass them with low-flying helicopters and loaded guns marijuana wars and these marijuana wars just so you guys know again this these cars came out in 1991 right in the 1990s canada especially british columbia where i live became a major supply supplier of cannabis to the united states and to canada it reached a point where the u.s government considered british columbia classified british columbia as a narco state the same as colombia in the early 2000s they actually or they tried to extradite mark emery a canadian businessman for selling cannabis seeds to Americans through the mail and in the mid 19 uh, in the mid 2000s he was extradited to the United States and served five years in prison there okay so this what they're talking about here that the United States was doing in the 1980s 1970s 1980s in California right late 1980s and early 1990s they started doing in canada during the early 2000s a lot of canadians were very very pissed when black hawk helicopters those black silent helicopters were coming across the u.s border into british columbia to conduct these same type of raids on cannabis plants in bc forests okay and bc farms so 
what's what they're talking about here as far as i know right still continues to this day on a smaller scale because a lot of states now have legalized 